my name is Abby. I'm one of the conference ambassadors here at the University of Arkansas over the summer. I will be one of the CAs giving you the tour this today. Next to me, we have another one. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm also going to be a conference ambassador. For, I'm also a conference ambassador for the summer, and I'm going to be an RA at Futural Hall. Super cool. And this is going to be our cameraman. Hey, y'all. Let me see if I can maneuver this around. My name is Henry. Oh, is it, is it all good? Is it moving? Yeah, okay, no, gotcha. Yeah. You're good. Well, my name is Henry. I'll be the cameraman for today and I'll be monitoring the chat. So feel free to ask your questions and I'll be sure to, um, to uh, ask Abby and Tessa them. And also let us know where you're tuning in from, city and state and things like that. But for now, what's up first, y'all? Cool. Alrighty. So before we go, we're, before we head inside, we're going to look at some buildings nearby. Cool. Um, there are two buildings that we can see. So this building right here is kind of covered by the trees, but this building right here is our bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have a like merch store, and then the second floor is the bookstore, so you can get your books from there. Mm -hmm. um, you can place them online, or you can go in. Placing them online would be a lot easier because yeah. you can go pick them up whenever you have any free time. Mm -hmm. Downstairs is a clothing store, so if you don't have any U of A merch or any U of A hoodies, you can go in there. They're fairly good. If you want really good prices, I would go to the Campus Bookstore on Dixon. They have some really cute ones and for good prices. Um, over there, by that White House, behind that tree, that is the University Housing Office. Um, if you have any questions about room changes, if for some reason you need to meet with um, one of the uh, assistant directors of the, of the dorm, or if you want to meet, if you're on Lead Hogs and you want to meet with Cecily or any of our leadership members, um, executive team they will be in the university housing uh, office cool um, directly you can't see it right now but directly in front of the dorm we have um, Fulbright dining hall which is where you can eat is was the main dining hall for this side of campus and then right next to it we have Pat Walker which is um, the health our health clinic of campus so we have a women's clinic, we have a counseling service, which we call CAPS, and then we have a primary medical health care clinic. Um, there are other clinics, I'm not sure, but if you go online, you can find them. And then Holcomb, just for a point of reference, is this building. It's not that white building. Mm -hmm. It's the one right next to it. Holcomb is next door, which gotcha. is where I will be living. Super um, cool. But those are just the buildings that are around Futural, just so if you ever are looking for something specific, you can find it just by... Um, just by knowing right now. Gotcha. Yeah. Seems like a convenient location. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead inside and then we'll go over some So did you just fob into the building? Yeah, so when you move into the building, you will be given a fob. It may look like this or it may be a gray one, um, but any black or gray pad outside the door, you will scan the fob and it will let you into the building. Um, your fob will only work for this dorm, so you can't go into get into Holcomb, you can't get into the quads. If you live in Futural, you will only have a fob dedicated to Futural. Gotcha. Um, this is our front desk. We have one of our CAs working here. Her name is Hope. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, so here, there are no packages here at Futural. Um, packages will be picked up at Holcomb. Um, these are just for show. Um, Mm -hmm. Decoration. Decoration, yeah. Gotcha. It has a little antique look to the dorm. Uh -huh. um, but you can check out any pool equipment, ping pong table, any baking equipment, but um, pots, pans, spoons, forks, anything like that, you can check out here. Um, if for some reason you have a question, um, we will have an RA here. Mm -hmm. um, we are, this desk is only open from 4 to 10 at night, so it's not staffed 24 hours. Um, if you do have any pressing questions, you can call the RA on duty and they can help you out as well. Um, that about covers the front desk area. I'm going to pass it on to Tessa. All right, Tessa, where to next? All right, so we're going to go to a great study area right over here. Gotcha. So one of the really cool things about this dorm is that we actually have a lot of trophies. Mm -hmm. And it's going to showcase a lot. I think it's just really great. It adds a lot, like a great vibe to the dorm. Mm -hmm. There's going to be another trophy case right over here as well. Mm -hmm. This area really nice for studying. You kind of have your own room right here. Yeah. We do have piano up here. And then we also have this area. So if you have a big study group or anything like that, it's a really nice area to be. Mm -hmm. And then right through that door and on the other side, you're going to have the tutor. We're going to have a tutoring clinic and then SIs as well, which will be for like if you're in chemistry or any type of science. So it's mm -hmm. just going to be right through there. And then there's another entrance on the side as well. So if you need any tutoring or anything like that, you can go to the website, sign up and get some help. And you're right next to it. 
So after that, we can head down to our basement, which is also a really great community area. Gotcha. And we just got a question about when will we receive the key fob for to get into the building? So you'll get your key and your fob when you during move-ins. When you move-in, mm -hmm. there'll be an area out front where you can go. You'll sign up, you'll get your key and things like that, and then you'll be able to move into the building. Gotcha. So we'll head down these stairs right here. Mm -hmm. So Futural is a girls-only dorm. Which means that it's going to be, all of the bathrooms are going to be girls only. However, we do have our co-ed restroom right here. Mm -hmm. So if you have any guy friends over or anything like that, you'll have your bathroom right here for them. So they know where to go. Gotcha. And we can head into our big yeah. basement common area. Gotcha. So this area is really great to hang out in, as mm. you can see right now. And you may need to speak up a little bit, because right now it's a little bit... We have a camp going on. Yeah, we have a we have a camp going on, so it's a little loud right now. Yeah, this is gonna be a summer camp, so it's a little loud, but it's a really great area. You can rent out ping pong and pool equipment, hang out, study. I really like studying here. I studied here a lot during finals week just because of the bright colors. It helps you kind of keep awake and mm -hmm. just study a little more. We're gonna have our kitchen right here. Gotcha. So you're gonna have your community fridge and you're gonna have your stove, and oven, things like that. As we said, if you need to rent anything you'll just go up to that front desk area. You can talk to the person there and then ask for that equipment and we'll be able to rent that out for you. All we right. also have a movie room, which Ooh. is a really nice movie room. Gotcha. It's going to be right over here. Yeah. We also have really great vending machines. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I believe you can use Apple Pay on those on those vending machines. So we're going to pop into this movie room real quick. This is going to be our movie room. We're going to have reclining chairs. It's really nice. There's also a Wii. So if you like to play Just Dance or anything like that or Mario Kart, you can come in here and do that, which is a great area to just hang out, take a break, and just spend some time with friends. And then we're also... Recently refurbished, I think, too, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. yes. I believe it was actually redone pretty recent. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So it's all new furniture and stuff like that. Just a really can great... Can you kick back? I think you can lean back. I think they do. If you pull this right here, it's going to lean nice. back. So you have like actual recliners, which is really, Ooh. really nice, especially for those longer movie days. Mm -hmm. I think I closed it. It's like, right. a, like a fancy movie theater. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. It's just really nice. Mm -hmm. We have this great bar area right here where you can study as well. Uh -huh, it that's actually cool. says U of A Hogs, which is really cool. It's just a nice yeah, a like nice a, little call out like, for like sports a, team. Yeah, it's like a little breakfast bar area. So from here, we can head over to the Lonsari. Mm -hmm. And y'all, if you weren't able to hear anything about that, be sure to let us know and we can repeat any information about the basement. All so right. I'm going to let my lovely CA, Abby, take over for the laundry. All right. All right, so really quick before, I know it was kind of hard to hear, but I just wanted to go over a very popular event in Future World. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, an annual coffee shop day. So our RAs and the staff of the building will um, bring out some coffee, they'll bring out some cappuccinos, um, they'll bring out hot chocolate, all the good stuff they will bring out for you to just come out and relax. That is one of the more famous programs that we have going on. Um, I, we do have a, um, I think this is something that we are just now starting off. Um, I lived in Futural my freshman year, so I know a little bit about the dorm. And um, we had a Halloween costume contest which was really really cool because a lot of people don't really have brain costumes with you when you move in so mm -hmm. it's really cool to see what girls would pull together in order to make a costume so i would look at that the prizes were actually really good it was like a blanket a mm -hmm. lot of candy um they threw some like facial mask stuff in there for the girls since this is it this is an all girls form um mm -hmm. that is there was a figure painting one that was done in Holcomb, but it was available to future residents as well. So I would just definitely keep a lookout. If you haven't already, follow um, follow the um, follow Holcomb and Future Dorms on Instagram, just because you will find a lot of events or any information about movement that you may have will be available on the Instagram, and then you can keep up with me and Tessa. Like, gotcha. um, this is the laundry room. There are a few, a few quite a few washers and dryers. It's a little, a little bit loud, so we will stay outside. But we do have a new laundry system being in place. We will be using an app called Laundry Speed, Speed Queen. Speed Queen. Speed Queen. Um, we will have an app called Speed Queen, and so you will scan the washer, and it will start it. You only have two washers per week. That is something that we will be putting in place once the school year starts. So definitely keep a lookout for more information over that. 
Gotcha. Um, you do have an ice machine included. This ice machine does tend to break down a little bit, so if you see it break down, just please, you can um, look up you are fix it, and then click on the first link, and once you click on the first link, there'll be a, green, a big green box that will take you straight to the form and just submit a fix it request seeing the ice machine broken. Um, gotcha. That is very, very popular during the first half of the semester because it's really, really hot. Mm -hmm. and people are drinking water all the time, so definitely use the ice machine, it is available to you. Um, yeah, that about covers the laundry room. We're going to go ahead and head up to the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. Fourth floor to check out a room. Yeah. Oh, wait, just kidding. We're going to go for a little bit, where it's nice and, nice and shady. Nice and shady. Nice, cool 100 degrees out here today. Yeah, so um, it's very cute and simple but um i just wanted to share like a little story so mm -hmm. me and my old roommate we actually came out here and did um color guard tosses and she was because i was going to try out for the color guard team i didn't because i just got really busy but for the little bit that she was training me we would come out and we would just throw the color guard flag up and around we definitely did bruise ourselves a little bit but there is plenty of space mm -hmm. um i know i came out here and i saw people jump we had um I saw some residents um, doing yoga. I've seen them stretching, just like a lot of simple stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of people like to use these picnic areas to come eat. Um, they like to come study here. I would study here. Once it gets a little bit cooler, I would come study out here. There are also some study areas in front where we first started the tour off, which you can look into. But this is just a very cute place to just come hang out. Um, I think we built snowman, so many snowmans and we had snow back in February. So cool. this is a very cute little hangout area where you can just come and chill yeah. whenever. It's definitely very cute. I love the little rock path, which uh -huh. is very muddy when it rains and it floods. Mm. So have rain shoes when you come this way because if not, uh -huh. your shoes will get very muddy. And the resident reserve parking is out there, is that right? Yeah, so um, you should have already received an email about that, but this whole parking lot right here is resident reserved for Holcomb and Futural. And then there is also parking up on the side of Futural. Mm -hmm. Those two parking, two parking lots are resident reserved. And then you may also have been offered Garland parking garage, which was next to the bookstore. Um, where we looked at the beginning of our tour, that is also resident reserved. Um, if you, they in the email, they would have told you which floors to park in. I am not, do not know the floors off the top of my head. So definitely check that email out if you do have Garland parking. Gotcha. Garland parking pass. All right. But we'll go ahead and head back inside and we'll go up to the fourth floor to check out a room in a class. You can go ahead, Tessa. Thank you. So another quick thing to mention is there is no elevator in Futural, so you mm -hmm. will have to take the stairs. Um, there is an entrance to the ground floor, and there's also an entrance into the second floor, which is what we took when we saw the desk area. Mm -hmm. um, for moving, you, it will be a little bit difficult. Um, if you do need help, we do have lead hogs, and mm -hmm. we have our lead hog staff, and we will have our artists that help you guys move in. Gotcha. So if you need help, please, and then we're also going to have two uh, boards that your RAs are going to be able to put like cute little bulletin things. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of them during like the first month will do like an about me board right across right over there and then they'll also do a board on like certain tips and tricks for just getting through college. It's just a really great thing to really bring the whole community together. And it's just a really fun process, even for the RAs yeah. too, just to add, get to add some personality. Creative, get to let you guys know us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Just things like that. Gotcha. Slowly making our way up. I think we have one more, one more flight. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a lot, definitely a lot of hills that you may or may not get used to. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs like the air? Right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we have made it to our fourth floor, and we can show you guys the bathrooms that are going to be on each floor. Yeah. So really quick, this is a trash chute mm -hmm. room. It always stinks. Look like your nose when you come in. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very tiny. 
<laughs> Catching your breath. <laughs> it's okay. You, you, you take a little um, bit. Only backers only. Please do not put cardboard down here because it is very difficult to unstuck. If it does get stuck, so please only put trash mm -hmm. bags in there. But there's a trash room, the exact same spot on every single floor, except the basement floor. It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, because you guys have the actual trash room. Mm -hmm. So that is the only difference that there is. So we're gonna go ahead and look at a community style bathroom. So there are four stalls and four showers. Our showers are currently being, um, what they say. Constructed on. Yeah, they're putting some new ceiling in, but they will be ready to go mm -hmm. when the school year comes. Um, I never really ran into any issues when it came to showers. Um, there was one shower I preferred. I lived on the third floor. There was one shower that I preferred just because the water pressure was a little bit stronger than the other ones. But other than that, there really was no issue when it came to showering. Um, there is a, There's two bathrooms on each floor, so... This is the one at the front of the hallway. There's one at the end of the hallway. They look exactly the same. Um, the bathrooms are cleaned daily during the week, so Monday through Friday. I think the time that they came and cleaned them was 9.30 in the morning. It may change. Um, they do not clean them on the weekends just because our housing staff, our ISA team, does not work on the weekends, but they are clean first thing Monday morning. So they may get a little bit icky over the weekend, mm -hmm. um, but they will be cleaned first thing Monday morning. And then... Here's the any if you would like to have your bed lofted, there is the fix it information mm -hmm. that you can do to put in the request. But the typically this is what all the bathrooms look like on every floor. Gotcha. But now and we'll then go. there is a water fountain on each side of the hallway as well. And there was a recent thing that happened where there's actually water bottle fillers on certain sides. So if you have like, okay. a water bottle, you could just go I think it's on the other side of mm -hmm. this hallway. You'll just go, you'll put your water bottle underneath it, it'll fill it up. It's a great thing to have, especially at night, so you don't have to go down the ice machine and get water. They should be, there should be one on every floor, I believe, now. Yeah, and it, 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 now that you mentioned that, they are all on that side. They're, They're going to be on that side. Normal so you have your wa normal water bottle and then your water bottle filler. Honestly, such a nice thing to have, too, especially if you're trying to cut back on waste mm -hmm. and just stay hydrated, especially with how hot it has been. Yeah. So, this is the part everyone's been waiting for. Um, mm -hmm. This is a typical double style room. Um, Henry's going to give you a little quick show of the room, yeah. but behind him were the two tall dressers, which I will open up. Because See how much space you have. You do have quite a bit of space, and then you have this drawer down here. Mm -hmm. um, let me tell you, I was able to fit a lot in these dressers. Mm -hmm. so. If you put your mind to it, you can stuff a lot of stuff in here. I had, um, here I had kind of like a shoe rack, but not really, but I put my towels, um, any like hair care stuff I put in like my, my big basket that I had here, and then mm -hmm. my clothes were put at the top, and then I don't remember what I had down there. But there is a lot of space. Mm -hmm. um, you will split three drawers with your roommate, unless your roommate does not want them, mm -hmm. then you will have a whole chest to yourself. Gotcha. Me and my old roommate, um, we split three and three, mm -hmm. um, which we still had plenty of space. This room is very spacious. Um, yeah. All the furniture is movable. The beds are loftable. However, if you do want to raise your beds any higher, you will have to put in a maintenance request because they will have to add a whole nother piece to it mm -hmm. and then your bed will be raised. Um, if you would simply like to just raise it up here, you can do it on your own. I did it by myself, um, but you can also put in a maintenance request as well and just say you would like your bed lofted to the top of your first bed frame. If you would like it, if you would like it lofted higher, um, just put a maintenance request of how tall you would like it and then um, our maintenance team will come in and do that. If you do want your bed raised up higher, I suggest you put in a maintenance request now. Just because movement starts here in four weeks, I believe, so a lot of people are starting to put in their maintenance requests. So if that's something you're interested, go ahead and look into that now. Um, I know a big question is the mattress toppers. So these mattresses are twin XL. Um, if you have a mattress topper, which I highly recommend you use, I went my first semester without one, and after I had it, it's the best thing that ever happened. But um, with a mattress topper in this, a twin XL sheet will fit just fine. Um, the ends may come, may become untucked every now and then. If you don't, if it doesn't bother you to tuck it back in, a twin XL should be fine. If you're the kind of people that 
just don't have time for it or simply don't want to, you can always get a, um, a full size sheet and that will work as well. It will be looser, but you won't run into the issue of your sheets constantly falling off. Okay. Um, you do have this cute little wedge. We put our TV on here mm -hmm. and our microwave. Um, my roommate had this side, so she got to decorate it how she wanted it. Um, but then you have a cute little view of Garland and the bookstore. Mm -hmm. So up there where you see the six, that's Garland Parking Garage. Gotcha. Right there, right next to the bookstore. Well, but, all right. Yeah. If y'all have any questions, drop, please let us know. And Henry will yeah. Out loud. And we do have a, a quite a bit of questions. So what are the dimensions under the hutch? And I assume they're talking about um, this, this part. Oh. So, and speaking of this, there is a light under here. Yeah, um, and it needs to be, it doesn't need to be plugged it, in. Yeah, not plugged in, but it is right there. It can be quite bright, and you could also have, like, fairy lights underneath. Like, my friend, she did lights underneath, and it was just so really pretty. Mm -hmm. Make it, like, really pretty, especially if you have, like, the right decorations and stuff like that. Yeah. So, let me see. So, it's going to be, like, three feet and, like, ten inches, I want to say. Three feet and ten inches, uh... Yeah, going Wrong. all the way across. Uh-huh. And, and then... then... Okay. What specifically were you measuring just then? I was measuring from right here all the way to right there. Oh, okay, gotcha. And how, how much was that? That was going to be the three feet, ten inches. Three feet. And then if you go right from, like, right here all the way to the back, it's going to be eight inches. Eight inches? Okay. And then could you also measure how tall it is, so, like, just from down here to up there? One foot, okay, so one foot, ten inches uh, tall. I can um, also measure it with the light, because the light will change the height right here. Yeah, let's so say you can see, see that. the light, which we plugged in the light, so it does work. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. So with the light, it's going to be like one foot, eight inches. So one foot, eight inches, one foot, eight inches, ten inches tall, um, th around three feet long yeah. and eight inches wide. Yep. I don't know either. <laughs> How high are the ceilings? So you can just set uh, set it down that way and see what it says. So the ceilings are going to be about 7 feet 11 inches. 7 feet 11 inches high. So right. roughly 8 feet. Gotcha. And then how wide is the dresser? So this over here. Yeah. Set this here. dresser is going to be lengthwise like two feet five inches mm -hmm. and width it is going to be like one foot six inches gotcha um abby this is maybe a question you know can you remove the hutch on the desk like this part no unfortunately not me and my roommate tried but we realized there are these screws that are attached to the table mm -hmm. um so that makes it a little bit difficult to remove it um, I know it's not the prettiest thing ever, but you can always decorate it. My roommate, mm -hmm. she put up those fairy lights, and she filled all of this with pictures of her friends and her family. Mm -hmm. um, and it looked really cute. And then on top, she decorated with um, any um, high school medals, any picture frames, anything like that. Me, partially, I used it as a reminder board because I'm extremely forgetful. It, it's it's mm -hmm. really bad. So <laughs> I, I pushed friends, and I had... Um, I had a calendar I had up here, and I'm a sucker for sticky notes, so I had a bunch of sticky notes on there. Um, there's always, you, if you get creative enough, you can make it really cute, so yeah. don't be discouraged. Um, Lots turn of ways your to use it. caps on and just find a way to make it cute. Yeah, all um, right. And there's also these drawers right here as well. Yeah. You can lock it as well, uh -huh. so if you want to keep some valuables in there. You can feel free to lock it, and then just have a couple extra desk space there in case mm -hmm. you want to keep any like books gotcha. or any like homework type stuff down there. As and well. is this separate from the? It looks like this is separate from the yes. actual desk itself. So this itself. can move. So if yeah. you wanted, you could take this out. You could put it next mm -hmm. to your bed and have like a little night table. You or could you keep it. Right you could there. also put it in your closet if you want more closet space as well. Mm -hmm. If you don't necessarily need the drawers by your desk, you can always put it in the closet. Okay. It will fit in the closet, um, and that gives you more closet space as well all right so we have another question how tall can the bed frames be lifted with the second frame um, um christopher do you happen yeah. to know that so question you go that to <clears throat> move in.uark.edu mm -hmm. and under ready to arrive 
you're going to find an area that says lofting and mattresses. Mm -hmm. And it'll tell you the exact height that it can go. It can go every three inches from the lowest to the highest. Okay. But you'll see a table full of all those very specific dimensions that are different from hall to hall. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. How wide is the window? So the window is going to be about three feet, seven inches across. Gotcha. Okay. Do all rooms come with blinds? I believe that's a yes. yes. Yeah. And they are really good. So if you're concerned about um, too much light looking through, they actually close very, very well both mm -hmm. ways. Yeah. Ironman and I didn't have any issues with them. All blinds across campus are really good. If for some reason your blinds are damaged, um, you can go put in a fix it request, mm -hmm. um, and they will come in and replace the blinds. Yeah. Seems like the takeaway of this is if you need something, go to fix it. Mm -hmm. You know, gotcha. Yeah. How thick is the door? It is about an inch and a half to two inches. Inch and a half to two inches. Gotcha. Can you add shelves to the hutch? Um. um. Probably. Not, you can put shell, like if you find yeah. a shelf, you can put it in here. You can't mm -hmm. attach anything to it. Um, mm -hmm. But if you were to find a shelf that fits from here to the side, so all of this. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we could honestly measure it if we, can I see that here? Now? Yeah. Do you want some paper? No, yeah, so I'll just use the light. So if you put it. So if from here to this, if you find something that's about um, 11 inches long and, and about a foot and 10 inches tall on both sides, you can have two shelves right there. Mm -hmm. You can't attach anything to it, but you can certainly slide something that fits right into there. Okay, easily. gotcha. We have another, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, then you could also go to like Walmart or Target and get like those little mini baby organizers and add them right here as well if they're, like if they fit both ways, mm -hmm. and also put them right here. Gotcha. So there's just a lot of ways you can decorate this and make it work for the space that you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. That door is one and three quarters inch. One and three quarters inch of the door. All right. Next question, will you be showing the single room? I don't believe so. No, we, we will not be showing the we singles room. We have a camp room. in here, so we all can, only can go uh -huh. to for certain few rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's the same thing. Um, I just think the ledge, mm -hmm. the ledge is the wall. I think okay. that's the only thing. So the whole wall has a ledge, mm -hmm. and then it, it's just a little bit small, and then you have only one set of furniture. Gotcha. Um, same furniture. Yeah, same mm -hmm. furniture. Um, next question. At the highest loft, how far is bed to the ceiling? So we could try testing it on this uh, to see. Um, do you have, do you, do you have that? Okay, yeah, yeah. I can look that up one more too. So from here to the ceiling, it's four feet, 11 inches. Gotcha, so four feet, 11 inches from this bed frame, from the top of it uh, to the ceiling. And uh, we're looking into seeing if, potentially if you get your bed frame taller. I do know they did, I believe they did make some changes. Um, this past year we had some issues with the beds being lofted too high and people hitting their heads. So there may have been some slight changes in the lofting, mm -hmm. um, but we can definitely double check that for you. Gotcha. In the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll move on to other questions. Um, Abby, you may know this. Do you know if uh, all the future rooms have ledges? Yes, they all do. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And then a question for both of y'all. What are the best ways to hang things on the walls? Like what can you use and what can't you use? So obviously these walls are brick, so you can't use nails or anything. Mm -hmm. Command strips are the way to go. Um, Velcro command strips are the ex correct way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I The reason I say that is because my calendar, I've had it for a year now, and I bought the Velcro strip, so all I have to do is the ones that my calendar has have stayed there for a year now, and all I have to do is I have to put new Velcro strips on the wall, and then I just get to like, it kind of snaps into place, so that's good in case um, I plan. I am in an RA, so I'm constantly moving dorms, 
And so that is really helpful because I just have to put one new layer and then just move it on. So if you um, if you plan to be an RA or if you plan to live on campus, that is very helpful because any frames you have, you just put a new set on the wall and you click it on there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very easy to take off. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, stripping the color, this is brick again. It wasn't. We didn't really run into issues when I took my stuff off. Um, it is a little bit difficult when you come to drywall, but with the brick it should be fine. Um, if you, I know for posters, I would use a thin poster command strips. Those are really good. If you get too big ones, it will rip your poster and it could potentially um, s like snap or rip when you're trying to take it off because it will be too big. So mm -hmm. um, poster, I know a lot of people like posters, so poster command strips for posters and then Velcro for like any calendars, any um, big picture frames that you want to put or anything like that on the wall. And then there's also poster tack as well. So you can get it at Walmart and things like that. It'll come in like long strips. You'll just break a piece off. You can rub it together. You'll put it on your poster and you can put it on the wall. I used it on drywall and it didn't take any paint off. It was really helpful, especially because I like to have a lot of posters. So if I wanted to move them, I could easily take it off and not have to worry about it. And they, it like solidified and it stayed on my wall for the entire year. Gotcha. So it was a really nice thing to also consider if you're trying to like have a more seamless look with the poster. All right. Thanks, Bill, for that information. I can follow up about the uh, <clears throat> lofting. I looked it up. It's about six feet. It's okay. about the highest this can go. But you do have to request it to fix it because that other piece is in here. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind it's only eight feet tall, so you only have two foot of clearance, and that's not mm -hmm. always ideal. So yeah. that would be pretty tall for this room. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Can we see the wall opposite of the desk shelves? That's going to be that so wall this there. wall. And I'll get a, move a little bit back. <laughs> so here's one corner of the room. There's an armoire. There's a dresser. Oh and the behind this door is the second closet. And like we said, all this furniture in here um, is movable. And then you are going to have your thermostat up there as well. So you can change that oh, set the gotcha. temperature of your room. It's a little high up, but if you like stand on your bed or uh -huh. move like a step stool over or anything like that, it's not too hard to reach gotcha. and you can change the temperature of your room. The gotcha. only the only downfall about it is the temp this AC is run by the um, the maintenance, so when it gets cold outside, the heater won't turn on until the the maintenance people come and turn it off for the whole dorm. So the issue we ran into, um, which is a good thing to keep an eye out for. When winter ends and summer starts, the hot starts to come in, they don't reset the temperature to start cooling the room until it's consistent heat, about 75 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it could be 80 degrees one day, 65 the next day, and you're, they still won't turn the heater on. So that's just one thing to look into. This is controlled by the whole building. Some buildings you can control individually. Like for CAs, they have us living in Walton and we can control the AC however we want. Here, you can turn it up a degree or two, but other than that, you can't turn it to extremely hot or extremely cold until maintenance allows you to. Gotcha. Well, thank you all for that information. And then you can also fit like a stand-up fan right there in that corner or mm -hmm. over in that corner. So that way you've got you and your roommate, if you guys decide you want a fan, you have that plug-in right there where you can mm -hmm. just set it up and have a nice consistent airflow going. Yeah. Okay. And if it gets too hot, um, especially once it gets colder, if your room is too hot, if you open the window, it does a really, really good job. We would have to close the window, we would get too cold. Um, so don't think, uh, definitely open the window. The window does help a Especially lot. the higher up you are, the more it helps yes. as well. So if you're on the fourth floor, definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are both beds twin XL? Yes, they are. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a rolling cabinet thing that goes with the desk? It's going to be uh, this. this, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so this does roll pretty easily. That's about the uh -huh. length of it, and then you can put it under your desk, you can put it in your closet, you can, you and your roommate can decide on a way to arrange the room, mm -hmm. and move the beds, and then have them set up as like little nightstands, you can yeah. put it under your bed, there's a lot of opportunities and options you can do with it. Mm -hmm. well, I'll put this back. <clears throat> and the beds are two different sizes, this is the door side, and oh. let's confirm this is going to be 75 length. So, uh, Christopher, you're saying that the bed frames are different? They are. There's a door side and a oh. window side in this room. So, this is 
six feet one inch long. I mean, this, we could do this one. Yeah. yeah. This would be the door side, and the window side should be slightly longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't fit my bit on the door because maybe her door. Yeah. The map is mapping. Map is mapping. You need to make sure, Abby, because I think the the dot was soaking into the bed frame. There we go. Um, this is six feet seven. Six so feet. So this is like a six inch difference, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's about that. It's a seventy five versus eighty. Okay. So would the mattress five inch difference. is the mattress the same or no? No, okay. the mattresses are the mattresses are different sizes. This okay. one's longer, the window side, okay. than the door side. Gotcha. They're both seven point five. Inches mm -hmm. thick and 36 inches uh, wide. Okay, gotcha. Do beds come with rails? I believe you can request yes. to, to put in rails. And if you're lofting at six feet, you, you, you probably won't want one. You yeah. don't even need to have Maybe less yeah. mm -hmm. I had a guardrail. I lived in Hots last year, and I had my bed lofted all the way up, and I had a guardrail, and it was a lifesaver mm -hmm. because I had an extreme fear of falling. Yeah. So if you do decide to loft your bed all the way up, I highly recommend a guardrail just so that way you don't fall and like get hurt. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Unless you're short like me, I just raise it to the top because I struggle to get up when it's there. <laughs> That's embarrassing, but like short people promise me. You know, so mm -hmm. sometimes it's just ideal. If you do raise it just to the top, you can fit your fridge, like a standard fridge, fits under the bed, and so I have furniture that I put under the bed. Mm -hmm. So. That works pretty well for me, and it clears up more space instead of having to make room for a fridge. You can always just loft it up, and then if you do decide to loft it all the way up, you can put your desk under, which gives you even more space. Gotcha. Next question. Are both beds... Yeah. yeah. I feel like you're, if you're one of facing, I feel like your head would go here and your head would go there. Mm -hmm. So you would be laying like this and then this side you'd be laying like this. Yeah, it's kind of. But I think you're symmetrical on both sides. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, you, should, you could also like move the bed so that we have like one person facing this way, one person facing that way. Mm -hmm. You could put it where both people are facing that way and then all the furniture over here. Yeah. 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 That's mm -hmm. kind of how you format it. Will both wardrobes fit squeezed together on the opposite wall? So here? Uh, I believe, yeah, I mean, On yeah. this wall right here? They said, on the, they said on the opposite wall, so I assume they're talking about this one. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looks like it could, you just have to move stuff. Yeah. Honestly, my roommate and I, we have pretty creative. Like, um, if you do this before you start moving your stuff in, it will be a lot easier. We had a TV, we had my furniture, so it was a little bit difficult. But um, I assume so, because if you replace the desk with a dresser, so you can put a desk there um, and the dresser here, you can push the dresser all the way to the wall. Mm -hmm. um, I do, I believe so, yeah. Because yeah. that's what we did for a while. We had them close together on, on this wall in that corner. If you push these two together, just the wardrobes, they take mm -hmm. up six feet. They take up six feet if you put the wardrobes together. Okay. And they uh, had a follow-up question that was kind of related to that is, could a TV go on top of the two wardrobes outside by side in that opposite wall? Um, they're pretty tall. Yeah. So have to have, like... So would you mind as white measure that? Because the, the length would be fine, probably. It's the, the height, because it's very... So that's only going to be one, and a half, uh, one foot and five inches. Yeah, yeah. So you're not going to have... <laughs> have a tiny that, TV. <laughs> yeah, it's going to have to be a really small TV. But this right here would be nice to put your TV yeah. up, set it up so that both roommates could watch. Mm -hmm. So we're on the ledge. Yeah, because I think that's what you said, hours. Abby. Because there's even an outlet over there that seems like kind of a perfect place to have that TV. I was going to ask how many outlets are in here. We usually have between six to 12. Okay. You want to make it quick. Audit, we can see how many we have in here. Yeah, because I wonder if there's some behind. There's two back here. So two back there, there's two here. I believe when we did a head count, I think we only had five. Uh, so there's two on this side. Mm -hmm. On that side? No, that one there and this one here. Okay. And then there's two one there. there. There's one right there too. So there's one right there, right there, right there. Right I don't there. think that's an outlet. I think, I think this it's, is just. Is it not? I think it's just the cable. No, there's an outlet right there, isn't there? 
Oh yeah, there's that outlet here. So outlet right here, so there's right here. Three on this side. And then that there. So three on this wall. Yeah. One over there. Two on this wall. So six. Uh, at least six. At least at least six. Okay. How many? Oh, that was the next question. Actually, is how many outlets are in the room? Yeah. Can you put a mirror on the door? I see a frame on the door. You can get a mirror at Walmart that has like the hanging already. So mm. you can do it on your closet door right here if you'd like to. Let's see that. Put that hanging right here, have uh -huh. it down, or hang it this way. And then, I don't know if you could put it on that door. Yeah. Um, you what we did? We actually put it on the side of here. So oh, we that seems had, like a good place. We had those Velcro. Um, so we actually had. We were a little bit farther down, so the room was a little bit different, but we were actually able to fit um, one of our dressers this way, so we had our mirror on on this side facing the door. Mm -hmm. um, Velcro strips is what we used, and we took it off. Didn't feel any of the paint, didn't ruin the furniture. Um, that is always available too if you don't want to have to, because I know a lot of people like to get shoe racks and put in here, and a shoe rack and a mirror and clothes just really don't work. So. Looking, depending on which way you arrange the room, you can always put it outside on this as well. Gotcha. All right, uh, let me open this door back up. Our next question is, uh, can both beds and both desks all fit on the same wall? I don't, if it was this wall, I honestly don't. Both beds and, and both desks? Both beds and both desks, so. I don't so. think so, because if you even push that desk all the way up and that desk all the way over, I don't think you're going to have enough space. Yeah, because there's about, yeah. although, I mean, one way we could do it maybe Here, is if you take, because if you measure, if you measure, uh, like, that little corner there. This is all the way up against the wall. So it's going to be three feet, two inches. So I was actually thinking maybe if you measure, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. So if you measure like this little gap right here, yeah. and then you measure this little gap right here. You can see if it adds up to Yeah, that. and adds up to this. You want to do it from the edge. Right there. Yeah. Like right there. Yeah. So that's one feet, three inches. Okay. And then this and is going to be... One feet, one inch. So one feet, three inches, that's two foot, two feet, four inches. Yeah. And that's no, yeah, there's, there's no way. Plus four is uh, 28. And how far, how much was this, 36? I think yeah. so. Yeah. So there's, shot four feet, three inches. Yeah. Six inches. About. Yeah. If you were to lock the bed to the top and then put the desk underneath, yeah. But um, mm -hmm. putting the bed in the desk. Yeah. yeah so it's the, the ledge. If you probably didn't have that ledge, you, you might be able to. But that wedge is probably what stopped it yeah. from you putting the two beds together. Mm -hmm. So next question is, um, so I thought I read somewhere that X that XL will work for both beds and mattresses. They, they will. My roommate and I, we both used XL when we lived here. Mm -hmm. um, again, the only issue we ran into is our sheets would come untucked, so we would have to tuck them in every now and then. Um, my roommate actually, she got, um, she bought these, her, her grandma bought her, or her me mom bought her, um, some sheet clips at Walmart where you just clip it to one end of the sheet and then the other one and you can tighten it. And her, her sheet stopped slipping off. Mm -hmm. So if she was done, I was constantly having to fix mine. That is something you could look into. Um, we sell them at Walmart in the laundry section, I believe. I think it also depends on your topper. Because if you have like a really thick topper, it might make it where your sheets will come undone. If you have like kind of a thinner one or like just like a mattress protector, I think that will also determine it. I would wait and then once you like see how your sheets fit, then you could do it. Because sometimes my sheets are loose, but I think it also just depends if your sheets also will stretch in the washer or not if you don't wash them yeah. properly. Yeah. Well, I have like the normal, I guess, like the typical mattress topper. I guess <laughs> that thick and my sheet comes up every now and then. Bro, that's not doing anything for you. No, okay. <laughs> my, I need a new one. I actually just bought mm -hmm. one because it's been a year. My back hurts. <laughs> bet. So can we see the view from door to window? Could a bed go on either side of the windows coming out long ways towards the door? So like a yeah. bed like here and a bed here. I'm assuming it's what they're asking. I think so. So I, I, so. you move the desks, you could take that bed and slide it in right here. Or you yeah. can move it right here and put your furniture right there. Mm -hmm. The only issue is the AC because the bed is 
clearly going to cover the ACL. Yeah. You don't want to cover it. I don't think you're supposed to cover it. I don't think you can. Okay. Yeah, it's advi- no, advised a, not to. Because I had a trash can right there, and when they did room checks, they moved my trash can because we're not allowed to have anything in that area. Yeah. So if you lofted your bed and kept maybe, so that there's nothing like yeah. pushing against it. Yeah. If you lofted your bed all the way to the top, um, and then you just left that area clean, that should be fine because they yeah. will circulate under your bed. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's like a maybe. Yeah. Uh, you have to play around. Yeah. Okay. All right. How wide is the closet door for a hanging shoe rack? So the closet door. Here we use the other measurement for that. I was that, say and it's sort of under what that can do. Good mm-hmm. measure, Michael. You can just uh, measure like that. So if you look right here, it's gonna be like. Almost 18 inches. 18 inches for the closet door. Yeah. Were they asking for the depth of the door, I think, to see if they could hang something over it? Do they want to see how tall it is, too? Well, yeah, probably. Also, just this right here, I was thinking. This right here? So this right here is, like, a little under an inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be a little under an inch. And if you go from the top... Abby. (laughs) I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. Teamwork. All the way down, it's like 66 and three, 66 and a half. So 66 and a half, that would be five feet it's and like, six. It's like five, 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 six. Oh yeah, five, yeah. yeah. Math is hard so for me. So not as tall as me, it's <laughs> gotcha. summer, we shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> All right, so we had another question. So, I know it. Didn't have this before, yeah. Lofting. So lofting high enough for desks to go under without bed by the ceiling. Lofting, so I think this is in reference to when we were talking about like having the bed frame out here, or bed frame over here. Mm-hmm. So lofting high enough for desks to go under um, would put bed by the ceiling. I, well, I feel like for this desk, it's kind of like if you put it underneath the bed, and correct me if I'm wrong, Abby, I feel like your bed your bed is going to be so high, like, is that typically done, putting these desks underneath the beds? Yeah, so, Tess, see how tall the desk is. The desk is four feet and nine inches. Yeah. yeah. So, you can loft your bed, we said the highest was six feet. Yeah. Okay. So, that's two... It's about two feet of clearance. Feet, yeah. Yeah, just don't, don't just, be tall. <laughs> you have, yeah, you just have to really think about it. Um, me, personally, I'm short, so I wouldn't have any issue when waking up in the morning. My issue is getting down. Um, mm-hmm. I would struggle, but I saw a lot of girls who made it work because um, we would like peek in when their doors were open. Um, if you want space in your room, that is what I would recommend you do. If you are tall, I would just be careful when you wake up in the mornings because you could potentially hit your head on the ceiling. Granted, you only have two feet of clearance, which is not a lot. You mm-hmm. can get used to it. But I had my bed, I, it was a different dorm, so the dimensions were a little different, but I had my bed lofted all the way, and I'm about average, a little over, so I, like, just had to be careful in the morning, so yeah. I couldn't sit up, like, straight up, but, like, if you hunch, uh-huh. just watch your head, and of course, the guardrail also helps with that, Yeah. if you're, like, a little bit taller, and you have your bed all the way up. Mm, just don't, like, suddenly wake up and yeah, don't, don't, yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> sit up, because I've done that before. It's it's big, big old bruise on your head. I say anyone shorter than 5'2 should have a problem. 5'4. 5'4 <laughs> four. Four should really have a problem. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that the two feet of clearance is going to be from those two top blocks in the Seattle. Yeah, so, so, like these, those so. two yeah. up there. I need to get it, Abby. No, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I can do it. Gonna fall on on live Instagram. <laughs> so your two feet would actually be. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, there. <laughs> yeah. So your two feet will actually be like about right here. Okay. Like right here. Yeah. So like for like reference. So that's how high it would be above the desk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's so about how much space right you will here. have between. Ish. It's it's, 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 it
But like you have your chair, so you can just sit and roll under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I see that real quick? I can tell them how tall it is from right here down. It's a little iffy. Like this is like five feet four inches. I want to say. Mm -hmm. How of you? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So one Tessa. One, one, Tessa. one Tessa. One Tessa. We'll put those measurements on our website. So you'll have all that right there. And then you could go up a little bit. Because do we know this goes like here? Is it here? Six feet. It goes up. Six feet. Six around, feet. Six feet. around six feet. So like, yeah, like right, right here. Because if that's the two feet mark from the space, yeah. down would be six mm -hmm. feet. So you could yeah. like, you don't have to lock so, it to the very, very top. You could lock yeah. it to like right there. Gotcha. Well, we need to start uh, winding down, so let's see if there's any more. Can you put the... Okay, we already answered that. Uh, we already talked about desk fitting under there. Uh, Great questions, by the way. Yeah, and this was kind of clarification about the beds moving is watching TV together is the most important thing. Lol, can both beds sit somewhere in there and face the same way? So can both beds fit facing the same way to watch TV? I think that just depends on how creative you get yeah how you set it up because you could even do if you locked it had like one person locked it all the way up and then another person go on your knee mm -hmm. but like kind of like that way where you're still like facing the tv there's mm -hmm. honestly so many creative ways that you could do with it i know that you look you look up on pinterest maybe like dorm room ideas. oh yeah pinterest yeah. that's what i would do i think off the top of my head if you want it to face the same way um in order to make that work i you would also have to move. You can move the AC. Yeah. Uh, you you have to get creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, really, you really do. I mean, I have seen a lot of people. If you're living rooming with your sister and, and you don't mind, you can put both beds here, and mm -hmm. then put the drip tea there, and the air is blowing toward y'all. Mm -hmm. If you like getting clothes and coffee. Close and personal. <laughs> yeah. Me personally, me and my old roommate did not. Mm -hmm. I had my bed here, and she had her bed here. Um, but I think if you were to turn the bed this way and then put the desk here, you can you can sleep in this way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You, we'll have, just, to, you have to really. You have to, it. Yeah. it also depends this. on how big your TV is, and mm -hmm. you can do an angle so that way yeah. you can see it. Might not be the best view but both of you could still gotcha. see it. Well, this will be the, the last question we have because we're running out of time. I read on the movement site that future beds can only be lofted to 35 inches max. Did something change? Do you know about this, Christopher? Yeah, Maybe. it says 35 because you have to get an additional part mm -hmm. to double it. Double. So this, this is 35. This is 35. This is 35. So okay. it can be doubled. Gotcha. And they can turn in a fix it request to mm -hmm. have it set to whatever they want before they even arrive. Gotcha. Until the end of the month. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, all that's as many questions as we can take today since we're about to run out of time. Um, but before we go, um, we were going to talk about uh, Pick One, which is one of our initiatives in A Week. So who would like to go first? Abby can do the Pick One. Want to talk about it? So, sure, talk. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, so let's pick one. If you haven't received an email already, you will soon. Um, so basically, Pick One is a great way for freshmen to get involved in on campus. Um, I was involved in the UREC Pick One, so that involved um, any sports. Uh, swimming, mountain biking, hiking. Uh, they did. Hi they actually were some hiking trips up to Arizona and Colorado that you could participate in. But um, basically, it's a group that you can join to get involved. So if you are involved in Greek life, there is a Greek life pick one. Um, there is an intramural one. There is a UREC one that I was involved in. Um, there, I believe there was an art and choir one. Um, fine arts one would fall into that um, but you will have an orientation the week a week or two before you move in and they will walk you through how you can join um, what all you can do to participate in events um, it's really cool but it's the first um, I guess the first opportunity you were you will receive as a freshman to get involved in campus I would definitely look into it I know the UREC is very popular because of the hyper um, you get a tour of the hyper when you do use when you do pick the uh, UREC one but even if you decide to go another way I would definitely go and check out the hyper anyways because they have some 
um, tables, they have um, cycling rooms. And it's really cool, you just have to go down there and check it out. But um, that is the first chance you get as a freshman to get involved in on campus in a group. So I would definitely check that out. You can choose up to three. So the one that you really, really want to do is what I would set up at one, and then your other two that you would like to do as well would be your two and three. Um, so I would definitely look out for that. That is a really, really good way to get involved in on campus. And then if you are in Lead Hogs, applications actually close on Friday for Lead Hogs. Oh. So if you would like to apply to that, I would definitely recommend you do that. That is also another really easy and fun way to get involved. I will be in the Lead More program, which is available to upperclassmen. So I will see you if you are in Lead Hogs. Um, around the school year, but that's about, pick one's pretty simple, straightforward, look out for your email, if you type in your search bar of your York email, just look up pick one, you should find an email there that you can register for. Awesome, thank you. And we did have one quick question I think I can answer was, how high should we request for the bed to be lifted to fit the desk underneath? I think we agree on five feet, right? Yeah, like five, I always mean like five feet, five and a half feet. Yeah, so like five feet, five feet, six inches. Yeah. Um, and that is that is the last question. Um, but Tessa, could you talk really quick about A week? So A week is going to be the week right before classes start. Some people are still moving in, but most part, most of campus will be moved in by that point. It's a really fun and exciting thing. There's going to be tons of events. We'll have an A week calendar. So I actually signed up for like a board game group that we met out in front of the union, and we got to play board games and things like that. And it was a really nice and fun way to like meet people. There were a lot of different opportunities they could do. They're kind of a mentorship type program. And then also for A-Week, we're gonna have our first Cardinal Nights at the very end of A-Week. It's gonna be really fun, I love. Cardinal Nights are so much fun. You're gonna be able to, I don't know what they're doing for this year, but they usually have free food, they have t-shirts, sometimes they'll have stuffed animals. And then Cardinal Nights will also continue throughout the semester at different points. So they have one for Valentine's Day and things like that. But A-Week is just kind of the time where you get to go around campus, discover. They did bingo at, a pom at the Pomfret cafeteria. They did a scavenger hunt in the hyper, so that way you can figure out what the hyper is. And trivia at the hyper as well. So you just kind of look out for those updates. You should get like an email with what was happening during A-Week, and you'll also get a paper that will tell you all of the events, and they will be posted all around campus. Definitely recommend getting involved. It honestly was where I made all of my friends. And it was just such a fun, great experience. And I'll, we'll also be putting them on your doors. Um, yeah. That's how big this event is. Um, your Cardinals is by far my favorite event of that is hosted all year round. So fun. Um, they always go all out, and it's just really cool to see what they do. I think my favorite one so far was, um, it was about halfway through the fall semester, they had um, like a plate smashing one, so you were able to write all, <laughs> everything. You were able to just let go, and then you smash the plate, and it's just, Oh, it was wow. just let go. So just definitely look out for it. You, I'm going to try and get more involved in that. You might see me there every single one you go. Me, maybe me and Tesla will go together because um, we will. <laughs> <laughs> this, our staff works together. But it's just a really good way to get involved on campus. Well, awesome. Well, thank you all so much uh, for giving us an amazing tour of Futural. Yeah. And uh, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and sign us off for Futural. Thank you. I'm so excited to see any of you guys living in future next year. I will be your, uh, one of the RAs, and I'm just really happy to meet y'all and get the school year started. Awesome. Right. Yeah, I'll be in Holcomb, so if you ever need anything, um, you can always drop by and say hi, but um, we are all here for you. The Holcomb and Future staff work together, so we're here to support you in any way that you need us. Two dorms, one community. Here awesome. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.